if it weren't for my friend who gave up on the restoration, I, I would not have taken the car. That's why initially it was an interesting car. I knew nothing about the history when, when I got it. But when I look at the paperwork, more research, on the history of the car, the more I got to appreciate the history of Honda itself, the, how they started in, in their sports car heritage. And, and that's why with the history behind it, I just had to do a full restoration. Hi, I'm Jericho Jensen. I own and drive a 1968 Honda S800. I've owned the car for a little over 14 years. I've been restoring it ever since. I got the car from a good friend of mine who was trying to restore it before I did. So the S800 was launched by Honda in 1965 during the Tokyo Auto Show. And in 1966 to 1970, they sold it. It was uh, the predecessor to the now famous Honda S2000. So it's a 30 year predecessor. So it took them 30 years to, to build another sports car. But before that, yes, there was the S800. Before the S800 was the S600. It was on, on a limited run as well. And the first sports car they had was the S500, which was very, very limited. This one is a 1968. So it's a 791cc engine. It's a four speed manual transmission. 70 horsepower at 8,500 RPM, but it can redline up to 11,000, which makes it one of the high revving engines uh, ever built. So imagine Honda having this technology back in the early 60s and in, in the 70s. The first drive I had when, when, when they got it from the shop, it, it, it was, the, the feeling was really exciting. It's already live axle. The earlier versions had a chain drive, which was quite unique. Chain drive, obviously coming from the motorcycle history of, of Honda. So if you look at the engine, it's like a motorcycle engine. So the chain drive from the earlier versions were, were like motorcycle chain drives. But the later versions, like this one that, that I have, is already uh, live axle. I try to make it religious restoration, uh, as you may say, uh, as much as I can. Especially when I got the car initially, I just wanted to, you know, slap on any engine just to keep it running. But when I saw the provenance, I, I wanted to give the car the respect that it deserves. When you look at the history of the car, at one point it was actually owned by Honda Cars Philippines. So story, the story goes was that back in the late 80s or the early 90s, when Honda was launching the Civic, uh, they purchased the car from a local owner and they were displaying it side by side uh, with the Civic. But after the launch, what Honda did was they, they just kept it inside one of their warehouses in, in Laguna. So during that time, a, a college friend of mine who was working for Honda saw the car at the garage and, and offered to buy it from, from Honda Cars Philippines. So there is a deed of sale officially coming from Honda Cars Philippines. It was even signed by the CEO or GM of Honda Cars Philippines during that time. So interesting provenance. 
I said to myself, this car really deserves, or this car should get the restoration it deserves. Parts are a little difficult to go by, so for the past 12, 13 years, I've been accumulating the parts. It was missing a radiator, so that was the, one of the first parts I actually bought. It was missing a drive axle. It had, it had no tartar, so I had to look for that. You know. All the rubber seals are all original Honda, as much as, as I can. I found new old stock from Japan. Brake cylinders were not original when I got it, but I managed to find two original new old stock brake cylinders from Australia. The carpets and the soft top are from Portugal. Most of the parts I've had come from Euro Europe, so a few from Germany, from the UK, some from Australia as well, and of course a lot of them from Japan. So it's really a global car, a, a lot of parts coming from uh, all around the world. So since then I've been looking for original parts, basically. Even the nuts and bolts are all original Honda. Luckily, the parts match uh, some of the parts of current motorcycle models, the, the nuts and bolts, so they're still, they're still available. So come 12, 14 years later, with the help of uh, some good friends, and quite recently, I think the, the past six, eight years, the car was with Angie King of Car Porn Racing. So she was the one who actually helped restore it or has been helping me restore it for the past six and eight years, so very helpful. We, we've gone through a lot of parts, a, a lot of uh, trial and error on keeping the engine running or restoring it to its full glory. So here we are now. So I, I believe it's the only or probably one of the few all original S800, uh, running S800 uh, in the country. That, that's been the journey so far and um, it's, 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 it's been great. Uh, and it's still a continuing journey, but I'm, I'm pretty happy. Considering the effort I've done, 12, 14 years is no joke. And uh, I like to enjoy the car as, as, as much as I can. So I'm, I'm uh, probably keeping it uh, for, for quite a long time.